North Korea got officially two their leaders. Only reason why they are obeying the regime is because the brutality. That's what keeping them silent. North Korean life is gonna get a lot harder. Hi everyone! So guys, you have been following about North Korea for a while now. Today, I am going to explain how really is North Korea being run. Many people actually have been asking me in the past, so how many people are in the top elites? Who are these people running the entire country? So today, I'm going to explain to you who are the people running North Korea, how North Korea system been designed, and who controls what. So today, I'm going to talk about officially how Kim Yo-jong became the official heir of Kim Jong-un. So she is also became another dear leader. And today, you need to understand how this is all affected by North Korean system. So there's a state council that is a, the core of North Korean Communist Party. And in America, there's a checks and balances, the Congress and Senate, lower and higher house and the Supreme Court and the executive branch. But in North Korea, there's a one branch that is in the Communist North Korea's Workers' Party. In that Workers' Party, there's a one council called state council and in this council there are 13 members and in amongst 13 members there's three top three and they're below 10. so in this below 10 they have an equal amount of power and they're all equal and in this top three number one was is kim jong-un and the number two is Choi jong hae and who the man who i talked about how he is a complete psychopath making his pleasure squad members to girls take all their teeth out so they would please him better when they have a intimacy and this is a psychopathic guy who is number two number three is a, a person who controls the hiring process you know they decide who becomes like a who gets a top official position so that is three people and ten people in the below so this basically 13 people have been running North Korea for the last 75 or 80 years time. And the only unique thing about this group is that other than Kim Jong-un himself on the top or Kim Jong-un or Kim Il-sung, everybody below that 12 people, their lifespan is pretty short. Sometimes they last only as 3 years. You know, as I keep saying in North Korea, there's a saying, you know, we compare Kim Kim's, like in North Korea, their leaders as a son. Right, if you go too close to the sun, you're gonna burn to death. That is usually you get purged. If you go too far from the sun, you're gonna die from the cold and not having food and not having crops. So the basically, you you have to survive in North Korea. It's a real time of squid game where people have to find a way to survive in this game world set by Kim Jong-un. So these officials who has to be in that 13, that uh, state council, they usually last three to five years time. And even the Choi ryong who who's number two, he's been even sent to concentration camp and worked for several years and came back. So literally, in this even state council, nobody is safe other than Kim Jong-un himself. And just last month, North Korea announced that Kim Yo-jong just joined as become the member of state council. And that's how Kim Jong-un took the power over and everybody went through that step. So before Kim Yo-jong, nobody was safe other than Kim Jong-un in the state council. But now Kim Yo-jong is very secure because she is carrying the, carrying the bloodline of Kim family. Therefore, she is another person who cannot be purged. There's two people right now in this state council. Nobody can die. That is Kim Jong-un and that is Kim Yo-jong. So guys, North, basically, this means is that North Korea got officially two dear leaders. And this is kind of interesting because based on the North Korean top diplomat Taeyong Ho, he wrote this book. He met even Kim Jong, uh, Kim Jong Chol, the son brother of Kim Jong Un, and talk about how Kim Yo Jong was very politically ambitious since, since she was a child, and she was sent to school in Switzerland with Kim Jong Un as a child. So they grew up together. They were very close with each other, 
and they were studying abroad and I think they really bonded all around that time with Kim Jong-un and Kim Yo-jong and there is a brother who is in the middle right Kim jong chul his older brother Kim Jong-un is a second brother who is second and then Kim Yo-jong the youngest but Kim jong chul the older brother he never had any ambition to be a political person he was supposedly a gay and he's very into music so his life, uh, Joe is actually listening to a Western uh, band. And therefore, and also if the Kim Yo-jong was a man, I'm sure that was way more threatening to Kim Jong-un than, you know, that brother. But thankfully, she was a woman. So Kim, Yo Kim Jong-un was able to let his guard down that she was going to kill him and take him over. And I, I mean, the thing is, like, when it comes to power, people really change. A lot of people change, right? It makes you greed and you seek more power. And in this scenario, in the really most of any even dictatorship or kingdoms, there are not that many times that where brother and sister split the power and rule the kingdom. And North Korea is trying out something very new. And it is at this point, my guess is that Kim Yo-jong is actually who is in the main control. Because as a woman, it's unthinkable how fast she climbed this ladder of in the state council. And now in this uh, state council members who are like 11 other people, they, they didn't have to only fear Kim Jong-un only, but now they have to fear Kim Yo-jong. And the state council members, their job is surviving, right? They, they are always in the threat of being purged. And Kim, Kim Jong-un always believed that if you let them be in power too long, they're going to get corrupt. So the best way is switching the water every two to five years. And other officials now, their job is always obey the rule, always to try to police dictator, never do the real work that is benefiting people, but benefiting their uh, prolonging life and not getting purged. And this is uh, interesting because I think Kim Yo-jong is even a lot worse than Kim Jong-un is. And this is the thing, every time North Korean regime gives a power to the next heir, the brutality goes up. And that is because, in a way, one, you, you need a fear not to control people. The 30% of children in North Korea are severely malnourished. 11 million North Korean people out of 20 million population are severely malnourished. And people now aware more about the Western world that has food and has electricity and internet. And North Korean people, only, only reason why they are obeying the regime is because the brutality, the persecution and, and just death, that's what keeping them silent. And that's why you can we can see that now Kim Yo Jong is a lot her rhetoric is a lot more more cruel and her behavior is a lot more reckless than even Kim Jong Un. She blew up this building that the communication center with South Korea. She calls Biden and you know all these people are monsters and horrible names. And because of that. I don't think that because Kim Yo Jong now is an official heir, that we can be predicting North Korea future to gonna be bright. In some ways, my prediction is North Korean life is gonna get a lot harder. The punishment gonna be even more inhumane that we can even imagine. And she is a very hard line like his brother, not all for opening economy which is China wants. China wants North Korea to exactly copy themselves, opening up the economy, but politically stay in power, give all the power to the Communist Party. But Kim Jong-un, Kim family always wanted to be go above being a Communist Party. They want it to be their kingdom. Only family line keep taking it over, right? The family line runs the country. In China, it's not from family line. The Communist Party selects who's gonna be next to the leader. And that's why there's a fundamental difference between North Korean Hermit Kingdom and Chinese Communist Party. It is an interesting trend that I really have no idea how this brother and sister power struggle is going to end up. But so far, they do seem like working together very well, maintaining this horrible modern day Holocaust going on. I hope this helped you to understand that this dictatorship will be better. And thank you guys for helping me to keep continuing this 
uh, contents, please join my Patreon today and the lockers. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. <laughs>